vlogmas you guys oh my god i've never officially done like a true vlogmas i've done 12 recipes in 12 days so we'll see how this goes i'm gonna try my best to post every single day but i'm so excited to just hang out with you guys so vlogmas if you're not familiar is you post every day from december 1st through december 25th which is christmas so I'm so excited and we're gonna start off with a really cozy Christmas vlog. We're gonna be decorating the Christmas tree today. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I just got home from a Pilates class and it is actually cold here in Houston, which is crazy, okay? I know what I'm about to say is not something that I would have said before I moved to Houston, but it's 50 degrees here and I'm cold. Sweater weather and I'm finally excited. I'll show you what I'm wearing. We put up our Christmas tree right here where our mirror used to be so like it's hard to show you outfits of the day. I'll show you over here. Let me turn some lights on. I just got back from my Pilates class. All right, let there be light. Everything is from Amazon. This puffer vest with this amazing collar is so much fun and so cute. It comes in so many colors. How many times can I say so? I got the brown. The inside of the pockets are lined with fleece which is really nice. So it's cozy. And then underneath this, I have my, just take this off. I have my little sweater. I tucked it under my um, sports bra, but it lays like this. It's not cropped. It can go all the way down. It's so cute. This oversized little bat wing collar, zipper. Also comes in so many colors. I got the brown. Um, under it is my favorite sports bra this is my favorite workout set even more than like lululemon i love this bra and legging combo both from amazon I'll, I'll link all this down below just because it's simple and easy for you guys if you are looking for like a christmas gift for a cozy trendy girl in your life i feel like she would love something like this a daughter sister whatever i sized one down in the leggings and then my uggs fugs are from old navy and then i just have my aloe grippy yoga socks that I love. But this is the fit. I'm gonna decorate the tree today. I kind of vlogged when we got the tree, but it's it's a real tree, okay? Shout out Matt, because I'm a fake tree girl through and through. I also got real garland from Costco. It's an amazing deal. I cut it in half, I put half up there, and then half, our house is a mess, half over here. And I just got this spray bottle from the Dollar Tree and I just spray it. To water it it is a lot of work but it looks really nice it smells good kind of playing around with how i'm gonna style this because i had it all cute for thanksgiving but now i want to just do christmas stuff so i got the red candles switched those out my mom got me this trivet it says thankful from crate and barrel so cute great housewarming gift this with like a cookbook maybe some like either like an apron or a cute little mixing spoon or something would be such a cute hostess gift or a bottle of wine. I just went to Bath and Body Works. I got my fresh balsam candle. Love this one. I also love that they do like the frosted glasses. It's really cute. And then I thrifted this, thrifted the candle holders. But I went to Whole Foods. Let's do a little Whole Foods haul. My Pilates studio, there's four locations in Houston. I go to Boost Pilates if you are local but they also are in Denver. So if you're in Denver, I think that's where they started actually. But I know they have studios there but if you're in denver you should go to fierce 45 because my best friend my maid of honor is a coach there carolyn alfanos you need to take her class and tell her that i sent you because she's the best also after the whole foods haul i need to show you something that i'm like, obsessed with let's do a whole foods haul i went in there for coffee creamer then i saw they were having a huge sale on all their supplements and you guys know i don't think supplements are necessary they are exactly what they sound like they are supplemental so if you eat a whole foods diet and you're getting a variety of veggies fruits proteins like fatty fish all that in your diet you don't need supplements unless you've gotten blood work done and like actually seen that you're deficient in something but i love to try out different supplements and stuff it's just as a dietitian it's just like what i like to do okay i get sent a lot of things which i'm so grateful for but then i get asked a lot of questions from you guys so i like to try things out on my own and pay for them full price and then give honest reviews and then if I like something, I can reach out to the brand and be like, hey, I love this product. Do you work with content creators? And like, that's how a lot of my partnerships form. I went in for coffee creamer, like I said, so I got a couple. This isn't creamer, it's chocolate milk, essentially. It is milk chocolate. I've never heard of anyone talk about this. I usually try the almond milk. I like the almond milk. 
Their whole thing is just simple ingredients. Like their almond milk, I think it's just almonds and water and maybe like salt. Love that. I think it tastes really good. If you have the extra money to spend on almond milk and you're looking for, you know, the minimal ingredient one, I do like this brand. But again, I still love, I like the cheaper brands too. You know, I go through almond milk really fast. So I have the Costco huge box of the vanilla ones in there but i do like to try fun ones every once in a while so i got this chocolate one it was on sale too five simple ingredients it's oat based so they have almond ones and then oat based ones um it's just ingredients are filtered water organic gluten-free oats organic dutch processed cocoa pure organic vanilla extract made from vanilla beans and then himalayan pink salt so i'm gonna try this and if i don't think it's like sweet enough because i love sweet chocolate milk i'll add just some stevia to this, I have like the liquid stevia from Trader Joe's. I'll add it to this, mix it up, and then it, it'll taste good. So let's do a taste test live. Oh, it smells really good. That is a good start. I get a little cup. Get a little cup. These cups are from Amazon too. I got them for my registry actually. Oh, do you see how thick that is? Yum. Oat milk, I notice, is obviously thicker than almond milk. Let's try it. Okay, not great on its own. Let me get stevia and see if this helps. This is the stevia I use. <laughs> Screenshot. Let's do a little, little bit in here. Okay, it's better with stevia. It definitely tastes like healthy chocolate milk. So I'm just gonna take a dropper, maybe two dropper full since this whole thing is big. You guys know this is one of my favorite hacks. If I get something that's an unsweetened almond milk or an unsweetened milk and I want it sweeter, I'll just add my own sweetness. So much better. It does taste healthy though. If you're looking for like true chocolate milk, maybe not this one. You know, I'm gonna drink it. It's definitely better with the sweetness, but again, I like everything sweet. This is like more of a true creamer. I was looking for the Califia Farms cookie butter one, but they didn't have it, but they had this Califia, again, Matt. That's Matt's text tone. Let's see what the boy wants. <laughs> I got this Califia Farms Oat Creamer Cinnamon Roll. So you guys know that I love the Trader Joe's new cinnamon roll creamer. But let's do a taste test of this. Let me finish this. Still got it. Oh, I'm gonna love this. I just know it. It is so good. If you like cinnamon, screenshot this. I should start smiling on my screenshots. Don't look at my nail. This is so good. Matt doesn't drink coffee, so I'm gonna put it back in because I can. This stuff is good. If you can't get to Trader Joe's or you don't live by one and you wanna try the cinnamon roll, this is very similar. Looking at the supplements that I got, I've been looking for kind of like a pre-workout just to kind of test the waters. And I've been getting a lot of questions about this brand specifically. I think because Alex Earl did a post with that, or like did a collab with that, Amino Lean. This is the Amino Lean Energy Clean Active Nutrition third party tested, which I do like. Whenever I'm looking for supplements, I like them. I like supplements that are third party tested. It's just there's no bias, which I really like. It says two scoops. How much caffeine is in it? 130 milligrams. So a cup of coffee is like, depending on how large it is, 70 to like 100 milligrams of caffeine. That's for two scoops. So I might just do like one scoop pre workout because some mornings I want. A little something but I don't necessarily want coffee on an empty stomach I feel like this with like a banana pre-workout would be perfect fast digesting carb and some en energy all right then I did get sent this next product by Amazon a while ago and I really enjoyed it this is a Mary Roots liquid morning multivitamin I like it. it tastes really good the raspberry flavor I did notice that my skin was really glowy when I was taking this. Refrigerate after opening, shake well before using, use within six months of opening. So 14 years and older, you take two tablespoons a day. I honestly just, in the morning when I had it, and I liked it, it was also on sale. Like, I think it was like 40% off right now at Whole Foods, so that was crazy. If you guys are curious, I'll link it. I got it on Amazon before. Everyone around me is sick right now, everyone. So I'm just like really trying to be proactive. When we had every family member here, so my mom was sick 
for a while. She took a COVID test before she left. She was negative. But I'm getting like a little, you know, just like congested. You can probably hear it in my voice. Try that. And then this next one is not new to anyone. I, you guys know, in my anti-inflammatory guide that I have, it's always linked down below in every one of my videos. A little backstory with that. If you guys don't know, I did one of my clinical rotations to become a dietitian at the leading cancer hospital in the world. And they had a ton of research done on holistic anti-inflammatory foods that you can be adding to your diet. Disease states begin with inflammation. That is like a huge telltale sign that there is something going on. Flax seeds is one of them. So I got some flax oil. This was on sale, it's the Whole Foods brand. I don't know how this one's gonna taste, they all taste differently. I'll do flax seeds on my oatmeal, yogurt bowls, etc. But it says you can put on oatmeal, smoothies, salad dressings, anything you would really use oil on. So I think I'm gonna use a little bit in my salad dressings as like my neutral oil. That's what I'm taking. I'm not saying you should be taking these. I'm just showing you what I am trying out and what I'm taking because I get asked questions. Yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. If I notice anything like insane with any of them, I'll let you know. That's what I got at Whole Foods today. But I wanna get cozy. I have to do some work right now, so I'm gonna go on my computer. We can decorate the Christmas tree together. Yay, first day of Vlogmas. I just showered and I put on my festive Christmas just like red on red outfit. These, you can tell they're like a velour. What is the, that word? Velvet? I got them from Target last year and I am obsessed with them. They have pockets too. And then this pullover is from Old Navy this season. So I will link it. I have it in this color and green. And I just think cozy, fun, festive. Indie baby, say hi to your aunties. Are you shy? Camera shy? Are you camera shy? Did I show you her new collar that Matt got her? You're so beautiful. You're literally stunning. She goes to the vet tomorrow for her little cough that's happening and I'm not gonna hype it up because in my mind, she's fine. Like she definitely does not have that mystery dog disease that's like killing dogs everywhere. So <laughs> I'm fine. We're doing fine. Oh, I wanted to show you. I was saying earlier, I'm just gonna put you right here in my moss walls. That works. You're literally sitting in my moss walls. My best friend, Carolyn, who is also my maid of honor, she is starting a interior like home brand and she has the best eye for like everything home. You guys, well, I put my own candles in it. Let me just show you. They're live on her site, I'll link them below. These stunning candelas, I think they're what they're called. You, there's a three and two, no, you can't eat the candles. Two holes on the side, three holes on the side, it's reversible. It is like real stone. Go on our website and just look. But, oh my gosh. It comes in two different stones. I can't remember exactly what this one's called, but like how cute is this? It's a small business, female owned. If you guys are interested, you should definitely go check out her site because look at how good this looks on our coffee table. You were in the mall, the moss balls. Like. It's stunning. It looks so good. And her middle name is Blair. So the website is Carolyn Blair Home. I'll link it below. <gasps> I love it. I just got a really fun package. So Matt's birthday is December 17th and obviously Christmas is the 25th. So December is always an expensive month for me because obviously I have to get, I don't have to, I want to get him birthday gifts and Christmas gifts and I never want him to feel gypped. If you have a birthday that's close to Christmas, I know you understand what I'm saying. I don't want you to feel gypped either. I just got one of his presents in the mail. I ordered this on Black Friday and it's already here. I got him a pair of Tacova cowboy boots. He, a while ago, told me that he wanted this exact kind. Let me open it one sec. So, you can kind of see the pants better in this light. See how they're like, if they're still on Target, I'll let you know. I'm just in the festive mood. We got Tacovas, and they're having 20% off their site, so I got him a pair, because Tacovas are really well-priced if you're looking for cowboy boots. They're pretty middle of the road, but I mean, 20% off sale, like, say less. Matt doesn't watch my videos all the way through, at least I don't think so. He did ask for this, these specific pair, and they come in their own box, so this is like, this is what I'll wrap. And a little tip I have, for girlfriends, wives, whatever, or anyone. I like to keep notes in my phone for the loved ones in my life throughout the year, and the moment they mention something, 
I will write it down or I will literally like put a link, copy and paste the link into a notes album. And then when it comes to birthdays, holidays, etc., cetera, when I wanna get them a gift, I just refer back to the note. And it is saved me so many times because in the moment you're like, oh, I'll remember that. You don't. It has saved me so much. Like this specific boot, the color, the like animal skin that he wanted. I know that's sorry, that's graphic, but like they're real cowboy boots. The size, the heel shape, everything I wrote down so I remembered. I'm not gonna completely unwrap them, but here they are. He wanted the black caiman, caiman, they're like round toe. They smell so good. They're wrapped up so nicely, so I'm not gonna take them out. These are the boots that he wanted, and so I got this for him which they were still like, they were almost $500, so still really expensive. The female cowboy boots are a lot cheaper. Like they're around, I like the Annie boot. Annie and the Jamie, they're different heights. I like them a lot. They are around like, they're under 300. So I got those and then I also got him a travel golf bag that I got off Facebook Marketplace that was barely used, so it's such good quality. And then I also got him like a really cute bomber, like olive green coat from Old Navy. So those are gonna be his gifts. Like this is definitely the priciest item. It's like the main, main item. Getting things off Facebook Marketplace, especially if your boyfriend or husband has a hobby, like golf or anything like that, buying it secondhand, especially in like a nice area. I always say this, my Facebook market tip is I put my location in a nice area that's kind of close by, but I'm willing to drive to because those people just throw away the nicest stuff or they just want it gone, honestly, and they take such good care of their item. That's where I get so many of my finds. Like this table, Facebook Marketplace, under $100. Those two chairs and this chair I got at Goodwill, like under $100 total. This was $39, and like look at how massive. $39, and then each of the brown chairs were $25 each. So. Total, I got them for under 100. And that couch we bought from someone in our old apartment complex. This is the couch that was in our old apartment. And then the carpet is Amazon. And this room looks so good. I also got those little side tables with the checkered boards on top from Amazon, or from Facebook Marketplace. So you, just, you have to check every day and kind of do a little digging and be willing to drive, but honestly, it's worth it to me. I found some good, good stuff. Look at her. She loves to sit on this chair and just look out. We open the shutters for her. She likes to just make sure that the neighborhood is behaving. Look at that shiny coat. I give her a little fish oil on top of her food every day and I think it works because look how shiny she is. A little midday snack. <laughs> just having a little protein shake and I like to pour it in a cup because I feel like it's fancier and then it just makes me feel like I'm drinking chocolate milk, but it's 30 grams of protein. So I'm gonna have this, and I'm going to slice up an apple, probably have some peanut butter with it. Oh, fuck, sorry, I forgot to do my breakfast. I had two eggs scrambled um, on a piece of sourdough. I'll get better, I'll make sure to show you my lunch and my dinner tonight. That's why I think these vlogmas could be cool because it's kind of like mini full day of eatings too, which you guys love. I'm gonna try my best to remember to show you. Even if it's not the prettiest, we're still gonna show you. All right, guys, I'm making lunch right now. This is the rest of the cornbread casserole. I'm gonna have a little bit of this. I'm heating up some chicken noodle soup right now, but I'm gonna take this, so I wanna show you. The amount of times I use this water jug as my tripod, it's my everything. It's my emotional support water bottle. It's my tripod. It does it all, really. But if you're curious what this looks like again, make sure you shake it well. That's just what it says. And then I just pour, I can just take it. Can you see? That's what it looks like. If you're curious, if you have trouble swallowing pills, this is a great option. It just tastes like raspberries. I'm gonna take one now. It says two tablespoons daily. I'm gonna take that now, eat my lunch, and I'll probably take another one with dinner. Chicken noodle soup, my favorite. And usually I'd have a piece of sourdough with it, but today I'm just gonna have cornbread casserole. That's what I'm eating, and I like to eat my cornbread casserole cold. I know, it's weird. Oh my god. It's so good. 
Something about the moment the weather gets cold, I am just soup galore. If you are also a soup connoisseur, let me know what's your favorite type of store-bought soup. And what are good Trader Joe's ones? Soup is just so nostalgic and homey for me. Growing up, my mom would work the weekend programs as a nurse and my dad wasn't the best cook. So he would just make us like soup all the time. We'd have tomato soup and grilled cheese, chicken noodle soup. We'd have the hamburger soup. They were like literal sirloin hamburgers in it with a bunch of veggies. Oh my God. And I don't know. Something is just so nostalgic and comforting to me. Also, like I mentioned earlier, I kind of feel a little tickle in my throat, like the early warning stages of a sickness. So soup is just medicinal to me in that way. But if you also, I think everyone just needs this in their cabinet. I'm gonna link it like down below. Just buy this. I've had this bottle for probably a year. Is it expired? <laughs> okay, we're still good. But I take like one or two of these depending on like how sick I'm feeling. At the moment I notice a sickness and this stuff nips it in the butt. It's just a bunch of like holistic herbs and stuff and I really like it. Be aware if you're taking any prescribed medications for any interactions. All right. I'm gonna get back to working. Okay, you guys already know the drill. Thanksgiving leftovers are still going strong in our house. So we got this dip, caramelized onion dip for when we had people over and it's almost gone. So I'm just gonna finish the rest of this. And then I got a huge bag of pretzel crisps again for just everyone being here. Oh, did you hear the cr pretzel crisps? Look at the underbite. That is the bulldog in you. The bulldog in you is so strong. So I'm gonna just finish this off. So that's what I'm gonna have for a little snack. And then Matt said he's coming home. So we'll figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. But I'm, I'm hungry. He still has to go to the gym. So I don't know. I have these purple sweet potatoes. I have one more left. So I think I might just roast this up. And then we'll probably have it with turkey. But if you have not tried this, here is a good picture. Screenshot. It's yum. Oh, good start. So a tip I have for stuff like this when there's a huge bag and I could mindlessly eat probably the remainder of this when I'm working because I'm just going to take this over. I have to finish some emails and I have to send, she has a vet appointment tomorrow so I have to send all of her stuff to the vet because she's never been in the vet before or to this vet. She's been to the Humane Society vet but I need to transfer her stuff from there to her new place. Anyway, I just took a serving out and I'm just going to bring this over to my computer and then if there was a lot of this left i would portion this out too because i know myself and i have tendencies to just mindlessly eat and then i end up overeating if i'm mindlessly eating i'll eat the whole bag or the whole dip whatever which is fine if that happens but what i've taken away from it and just kind of noticed of myself with my own eating habits is if i do portion a little bit of it out once I finish that portion and I'll sit with it for like 10 minutes and you know drink some water, just kind of let it settle. If I still want more, I'll go back for more. But a lot of the times I either forget about it or I am onto something else and I'm satisfied. Like my body is not physically telling me that it's hungry. Meanwhile, I would have eaten the whole thing if it was in front of me. So one of my tips is just kind of like portioning out, taking it away waiting a little bit after you eat just to kind of like check in with yourself and that also helps with intuitive eating in general intuitive eating is all about checking in with yourself and just seeing like am i really hungry what do i what am i craving what am i wanting honoring that and then just again reevaluating. and it's going to become more natural to you the more you do it that's just one of the steps that i find helps a lot of people is portion it out and take it away i've been editing at my computer all day so i feel like let's add a little christmas cheer and turn on some of our lights indy are you itchy i have this garland that we used last year from home depot it's pre-lit which i really like yes we still have herman stocking up don't ask me about it i'm doing fine everything's fine and then like i said i have the fresh garland up there then i have this which is more of the Home Depot one. So let me plug that in. And then we got this really cool, we got these cool candles up here from our registry. They come with a remote. 
How cool is that? Yep, they're remote controlled, so easy. Annoying because you have to get batteries for all of them, but once you do that, it's, it's simple. These are not from that. These are just separate, but so I have to turn these four on myself, but it's not a big deal. How cute! I've literally just been sitting here editing. Did not feel like going on the walking treadmill today, and that's okay. This video that I'm editing now, I showed, it'll already, already be up by the time you see this one, but I did a really good stuffed bell peppers recipe in it that is so easy, and if you guys like bell peppers like I do, stuffed bell peppers, it's a good recipe, so you should check it out. Make a quick little pre-dinner snack. I shared this on my last, one of my last vlogs. It's my blueberry lemon mug cakes. So I just take a mug, spray it with spray, put the liquid in first. So with these, I make lemon blueberry, and I just use Kodiak cakes. You guys are sitting on it. But this is what I use, Kodiak cakes. 15 grams of protein per serving. I do a little water, probably like third of a cup, squeeze a lemon. You could do all water and then squeeze half a lemon juice in there. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, I really like that Khalifa Farm creamer I got, so I'm gonna do a splash of this in here too. Wash my hands. I'm gonna do a splash of this, like one serve it. I feel like that would just be good in it. And then add however much Kodiak cake you want. Mix, I, I don't measure, I just mix until it's like the consistency I like. Definitely need more Kodiak cake. Add a lot of water. But make sure you leave enough room at the top because it'll rise when you bake it or microwave it. Chef Mike, you guys know pancake batter. So just kind of add more. Pancake batter, if it gets too thick, then add a little bit more water or a little more lemon juice. And if you don't want to do it in a mug cake, you can just make this as regular pancakes too. I just don't want to dirty a pan. So this is the consistency, just like pancake batter. Then I'm gonna take wild blueberries, you can take fresh. Put these, put a good amount in. So in here it's just water, lemon juice, a little bit of my creamer, pancake mix, and blueberries. Kind of scrape the sides down. Pop in the microwave for about a minute and a half. Every microwave is different though. Just go until like the middle is cooked. I'm watching the vlog I'm about to post to make sure that it's all good. But it's an hour long vlog if you guys want to watch it. I'm going to add a little bit of whipped cream. I forgot I had this. Despite this looking like <laughs> dessert, this is my pre-dinner snack. I had to cook it a little bit longer because the frozen blueberries added a little more liquid to it. Look at that. It's so... Good. Mmm. MMS. Okay. Well, what did you get? What is in here? Love. Have I been to Rice Box? I don't think so. Matt's come from work and he just surprised me with Rice Box as I'm eating. Because he's the best. He is, as I'm eating my mug cake. So, stop eating that. We have, Ch is this Chinese food? It's called Rice Box here in Houston. <gasps> Fried rice. Is this orange chicken? Fried rice and orange chicken. Oh, are these um, yeah. lo mein? No, no, yeah. Lo mein. Oh, no, yeah. A mess. Oh, my goodness. I need a fork. Mmm. Oh, my God. Yum. <gasps> my mask in here. <gasps> this is so good. Oh, my God. The fried rice is so good. I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> okay guys, it's seven o'clock now and I just finished eating that Chinese food and I just got off a phone call with Carolyn, my best friend, about her brand, you guys. It is such good quality, I didn't realize. It's literally like hand carved stone from the Andes Mountains in Peru. It's luxe, okay, luxe. And we're gonna decorate the tree. My mom put presents under it that she got for us. Wrap the Marty and here are all of our lights. <laughs> A little cluster hook. We just got these at Home Depot last year and then Matt zip tied them. So we're gonna need a uh, scissor, Matt. Or your what? pocket knife. Cause you, you zip tied these. I zip tied what? You love a zip tie. I love a zip tie. 
Boy loves a zip tie. Do I know? You know what? It still has water in it. Does it? Yeah. Like how much? Like a lot. I just stuck my finger like this much in. <laughs> this is my measurement. <laughs> Girl man. <Ugh. laughs> what? You're the Grinch. I know. It's giving Grinch vibes. <laughs> I was like, maybe the Grinch wouldn't be so mean if some dude wasn't just singing about how much of a dick he was all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Grinch. Okay. <laughs> I were where? a plug. Where would I? No. There it is. Wait, what? No, you did it wrong. Oh. Hi. How did that happen? Oh. Hey, guy. Oh. Wow. It's so much cheer, Indy. Look at that. All right, let's put on the It's lovely! Yeah. Oh, high five. Nice, good job, Mama.